Well, I think most parents agree that parenting is a difficult job, but a child with autism poses extra challenges. Sally Tebow's 24-year-old son has Asperger's syndrome, and she's written a book about her experiences to help other parents cope. Sally, thanks very much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Lucy. Um, is it possible to detect autism early, and what are the early signs? Yes, I think the earliest that you can detect it is actually better for, not only for the child, but for all involved. For Asperger's syndrome, and, or the, the spectrum that sits, the autistic spectrum disorder, usually is a social disability. Children's inability to cope with social situations don't seem to get the messages, the cues that other people get, other children get, and often the, uh, very stressed, sometimes language delay. Does early detection make a difference in being able to help them along? Oh, absolutely. The, the earlier that you can create the strategies in order to help the children understand their world is so much better, not only for the child, but also for the parent and the extended family around them. Okay, well, let's have a look at some of those strategies. The first one is to set up routines. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Incredibly important. Uh, family routines are what a child with Asperger's learns to work within. And so the learnings that come from the uh, various routines that you set up allows the learning to take place. And do what you say you will. So they need to have those boundaries. Absolutely. It's very difficult for parents today because you have, you, you're obviously pulled in many different directions. But a child with autism doesn't understand adaptability. When you say that you are going to do something, you need to do that. That's how they learn trust. And the next one is understanding emotions. I'd imagine there'd be a pretty broad spectrum of emotions with kids with autism. Exactly. And for children with, with autism, that's the one thing they don't understand is the emotions. And that's how they create the learning. And quiet time is important? Absolutely. There's two aspects to quiet time. One is giving the child time every day in order to what we call debrief. And the second part of that is getting the child and the family out into nature as much as you can. And have a support network. Oh, incredibly important. This is a really tough gig, parenting a child with autism. You need extended family and teachers um, around you in order to help you cope with those. So for all of those behavioural areas and, and support, does medication still play a part? We found that it didn't. For us, we felt that medication actually masked the one things that David needed to learn, which was to understand emotion and to create his own set of strategies, and medication took that away from him. Well, you've written a book about David's journey. It's called David's Gift. Mm -hmm. What is the most important message that readers can get from that book? That in order to, for these children to emerge, um, love, compassion, forgiveness, understanding are incredibly important in their lives. Teachers are incredibly important in their lives. They bring with them, they bring into our world, a gift that we need to understand. And some of the most loving children you can imagine. Absolutely. And incredibly bright and smart. You know, if you want someone to solve, um, you know, global warming, it's a child with autism that's <laughs> going to do it for you. <laughs> Sally Tebow, lovely to meet you. Thank, Thank you very much for coming Thank this you, morning. Lisa. Thank you.